Hello everybody, we're going to do a rather tricky uncertainties problem and for some reason PowerPoint is showing me my own face on camera which is not pleasant at all. Sorry about that. But yeah, let's crack on. It's an IB question, all to do with percentage uncertainties and propagating uncertainties. So we have a cube of side 10 millimeters, and the uncertainty of measurement is pretty high. It is plus minus 2 millimeters. And you've got multiple choice uh, answers here. And what you've got to do is figure out the absolute uncertainty in the volume. So as you'll remember, volume is the length times the breadth times the height, or width times height, whatever you want to say. So if it's 10 by 10 by 10, that gives us a volume of 1,000 millimeters cubed. So that's our actual volume. Now to calculate the percentage uncertainty, uh, which is what you're going to have to do, because you're going to have to propagate the uncertainties. Because we've got three different measurements associated with measuring the volume of a cube, you have to combine the uncertainties or propagate the uncertainties. It's like you're getting more and more uncertain every time. Uh, so the percentage uncertainty for any side will be the absolute uncertainty divided by the measured value. And then to turn it into percentage, you multiply that by 100 because you can only propagate with percentage uncertainties. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work out the percentage uncertainties for length, breadth, and height. We're going to need to add them all together. Now, they'll all be the same number, so not so bad. So the percentage uncertainty in this case would be 2 divided by 10 times 100, which gives us a 20% uncertainty measurement on any one side. And when you're propagating the uncertainty, you add them together. So I've basically got 20 plus 20 plus 20, which gives us plus minus as a percentage of a 60%. Now, the question is asking us about the absolute value. So 60% of 1,000 millimeters cubed is 600 millimeters cubed, which is essentially D, which is the correct answer. There we go. Uh, the only time propagating uncertainties gets maybe a little weird is you have to cal propagate the uncertainty that involves a power. So take kinetic energy, which is half mv squared. If we've got 2% error in, math, uh, in mass, sorry, and 2% error in velocity, we need to remember to multiply the uncertainty for velocity by the power. So the actual calculation would be no uncertainty for half, fixed constant, 2% plus 2, the power, times 2%, which would give us a total uncertainty of 6% for kinetic energy. So when you've got powers, it's a little different. But this question here itself is quite difficult because you're mixing between absolute uncertainties, percentage uncertainties, and then you have to compound the uncertainties as well. There we go.